Hey everyone, this is Ben, and I'm here, I am in Minecraft, and I am here, and now I am starting a new series, um, and this is going to be a series focusing on computer craft, and I, I've been playing Tekkit, as you might have seen, um, I had a single player, uh, Tekkit, as the Ben plays Tekkit, which I am, I is on hiatus for now, that it got a bit repetitive because of my other Tekkit series that I'm playing, um, the bricks and sticks, which I'm playing, and in that I did a little bit of computer craft coding, and I've always liked computer craft, the mod for Minecraft. So here I'm starting a new series, and what I am going to call this is Computer Craft Challenge. The Computer Craft Challenge, and there's a few things I'm going to do here. I had this idea, so I'm running with it to see how this will work. Um, be in survival mode. Um, I thought about hardcore, but because I'm focusing on computer craft, I at least, even if I want to pretend to be hardcore, our actual hardcore mode would delete all of the programs I wrote. So I probably want to at least have the option, you know, if I die, to continue playing one because of the programs. Um, and let's see, a seed. We're gonna go with turtle. And I set my options here already. Just uh, regular structures, regular world type. I mean, you can do whatever there. Super flat would be super boring, obviously. And I do need to have allow cheats on for one thing and one thing only. Um, no bonus chest, which I will show you as soon as I get into the game here. Um, so this is computer craft challenge, survival mode. Let's go ahead and build the world. So... That uh, computer craft, I mean, if there might be some people who aren't familiar with it, adds computers, for one thing, to the Minecraft world that you can program in Lua. Oh, so, um, and it also adds things called turtles, which are little robots that you can program. Okay, I'm in a snowy pine biome. Let's let these chunks load for a little while. Um, and so the only mods that I have installed here, part of the Computer Craft Challenge, all I have installed, um, I got Optifine to just help gen in general with making Minecraft work nicely. Oh, there's a jungle right there. Excellent. Um, and the other uh, mods I have, I have Computer Craft, I have Optifine, and I have uh, Raise Minimap. Um, just so that I can have waypoints. I, I really like it. I mean, you know, have have a nice map of the area. Um, so there you go. That ought to make some chunks load. <laughs> All right. It seems like we're we're in. We're loaded up. Um, so now to start the computer craft challenge, this is why I needed the cheat. So give of fate. Uh, let's see. What is it? It's 2, 10, 1, and then data is 5, right? That looks like it. Given turtle. This mining turtle, not wireless mining turtle, just note, not wire, no wireless modem on there. Um, this turtle is going to be more or less my my hands here. So I am I'm not entirely barred from say digging, you know, breaking or placing blocks. You know, there's gonna always gonna be incidental stuff which I'm sure I'll need to do, but by and large, any kind of mining or, you know, chopping of trees, or building of houses, I am going to have to do through my turtle here. And so let's let's pick a tree. We'll start over here. Um, so the first thing you do in Minecraft is you get some wood. For me, I, I would be kind of kind of cheating if I were to just punch down that wood, because I need to have the turtle do it. Now, obviously, you know, I could kind of be cheap about it and just, you know, type all commands in here be like okay turtle dot dig you know and then okay yeah he'd break the block big deal and i could you know manually move him around but i i you know that's gonna get repetitive so i might as well write a program anyway so the first thing you do in the computer craft challenge is you write a program now let's see what we got here um so in in this episode i will probably be focusing i'm just gonna write the simple logging program i'm sure everybody's seen it a million times but i'm gonna you know continue going through this and i'm under no illusions that i'm going to be able to you know do all of the editing within minecraft here and i'm certainly not going to show every moment of all my my code writing here so let's just call log 
Um, oh, and the other thing is I do have the fuel requirements enabled. So turtles, they take they have to have fuel to run. So I'm going to have to kind of work on managing that as well. So I'm going to do the simplest log logging program possible. He's going to assume you put him next to a tree. Oh, actually, let me just save and exit that. And I, oh, I, you saw the print option there at the bottom, possibly. You may have seen that. Um, I do have the absolute latest version of computer craft here. This is the latest version of Minecraft 1.3.2. Um, and the latest version of computer craft just came out, uh, actually yesterday when I'm recording this is, uh, computer craft 1.42. So we have printers in the game now, which are interesting. Um, waiting to see what people do with those a bit as far as practical application, but they're certainly fun. Um, so first thing I do, uh, before I write my program, even label set, give this guy a name this is my, uh, sidekick. There we go. Set to sidekick. That's very important. If you're playing computer graph, especially for a turtle because you pick turtles up, but really for everything, give it a label labeled computers and labeled turtles save like if i if i pick him up now um come on tough little guy there we go all right i pick him up you can see his name is sidekick so all of his data his programs and everything are saved on there so i will not lose the stuff that i write i'm gonna run out of daylight here if i don't hurry up so let's get back to this logging program so first of all, uh, turtle dot dig, and then turtle dot for oops forward. So he breaks the log, moves forward. Now he's in line with the tree trunk. So then what we're gonna do here is um, let's see. Oh, let's let's make him pretty efficient here actually. So while um. I'm going to go ahead and assume, I guess it would leave this first block empty. So while, do, 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 um, okay, first of all, turtle.select one, first slot, make sure he's got that first slot because that's where all this stuff's gonna go. And then while, let's see here, what is it? It's her, excuse my my uh, rustiness here that I don't remember every bit of the API on this while turtle dot compare up I believe then so do and uh, turtle dot dig up turtle dot up okay so that will get him up there and then we'll just do real easily while turtle dot detect down F equals flays no false do turtle dot down Save, exit. So, actually, before I, oops, before I exit, um, let's just kind of review this real quick. So, first of all, he's sitting next to the tree. You face him at the tree. You tell him to dig, break that block in front of him. He moves forward under the tree. He makes sure he's got the first slot selected where anything he collected will have gone, assuming I empty his inventory, which I have to do manually. You know, manage this manually a little bit right now. Um, so then he checks that the block above him is the same as the block in that first slot. So this way, I'll prevent him from going and digging up through the leaves of the tree, just to be, you know, top efficiency here. Um, so then he digs up, and then he moves up, and then this repeats until that block above him doesn't match. And then while there's nothing, detect down, you know, detects there's anything below him. While there's nothing below him, move down. And when there's something below him, this will end, program will be over. And uh, I mean, I could put some messaging in there, but I don't really need to because my feedback is just going to be that he works and that he does what I told him to. Oh, and you know what I forgot? You know what I forgot? That he needs fuel. He needs fuel. So 
Um, and that's what's one thing that's a little bit tough here in the computer craft challenge that I, as I'm calling it is that he I got to make sure he has fuel and that's something that's going to eat up my wood as well aside from oh, I got to hurry this up here aside from my own needs so I can just manually refuel there we go 18 that should be enough so now let's log Oh, and that screwed up my program, of course. Okay, because he was expecting... I see what happened. So when I in that program, I was compare, doing some compares against the first slot, and the first slot's empty. So now he thinks that... Oh, come here, sidekick. I am probably going to have to... F I don't know how I'm going to survive this first night. This is a, this is a tough challenge. Let's, let's take out this tree. Okay. Log. What? What's he doing? Okay, I'm confused now. I must have screwed something. Okay, so dig forward, select. Okay, pardon me for a moment here. All right, I'm back. I've I realized I'm uh, this, this is something that makes this tough. That every time you pick up, you break a turtle. If you pick it up, the whatever fuel it has just it disappears. So, oops, refuel. I have to refuel him. So then I'll say go up. So this this first one this is tricky. Um, after this I should be able to refuel him just fine. So okay now. See this thing? Fuel. Okay, log. Hits it. Goes up. Goes up. Excellent. Now we're getting wood. Oh, this is cutting it close. Okay, he, see? He left that leaf block up there. He saw that was the end of it. And check it out. A few logs. Now. Problem is, is it's so late. Um... I think I am going to end up cowering. Um, and you can use these commands to control turtles just right off the bat. It's part of the program. Out of fuel. Refuel. <laughs> this is going to eat up so much wood. Oh my gosh. Um, so I need some of this because I, for now, I don't have a crafting turtle, so I can't force myself to do that. But I am thinking that I might be needing a sword. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh boy. Oh jeez, who is that? Um, oops. Put that in my sword spot. Actually, was that a sheep? Oh, if that was a sheep, that would be nice. Nope, creepers. Okay, so we are nighttime. We are going to be cowering. <laughs> Um, I think I might make for the top of a tree. I don't want to, I don't want to blow up. Okay, I'm just going to do this. Okay, re, oh, he already refueled. Go forward four, I think it is. I'm not looking. Okay, turn right. Go down. Go four. Go forward. Okay, nice big tree there. Log it. Now he can cut that tree down for me. I, I got your back. Sidekick. Oh no! Oh no! Oh gosh. Oh, okay, so it looks like he prob I didn't even think of that. Dang it, see? I am I'm failing a little bit here. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> he ran out of fuel mid-program, and I never put in uh like criteria telling him that if your fuel's low, go ahead and refuel yourself. So that's something that we need to add to the program. Come on, reach. Oh, thank you. Uh looks like I have to terminate the programming because he'll never be at the ground. Refuel, go down, six, sure. Okay, still gotta watch watch both of our backs here. Okay, good, he's at the ground again. So, ooh. Hello, Mr. Creeper. 
This is scary. My sword's slot off. Index finger. Number four is the sword. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Um, I could... Um... Yeah, I, I guess gotta stay here. I Apparently my, my programming wasn't quite as fast as I'd hoped, and I don't normally... I mean, this is, this is the first time I've played with... You know, in series, I play Tech It normally, so I have a fairly old version. I haven't had a version with re fuel requirements yet, so I thought I had a handle on it. But there's a couple of quirks I forgot about. I really wish they would keep their fuel once you pick them up, because that, that doesn't make sense. I mean, you could refuel it to have, like, thousand, you know, over a thousand fuel or something, and if it's broken, if you pick it up, that's gone. So you could really waste a lot of fuel. So I guess one of the keys to this is going to be just... Um, so, I mean, I'm not safe here. I wonder if I can, uh, go up. I have had limited success with this. Come on, move up. Move up, sidekick. Go up. Go up. Aha! <laughs> we are one more block into the air. Um, if I do another one, I'll probably fall through him, but I think... I don't know, is that high enough? I'm gonna do one more. Go up. Oh, yes, I stayed. Okay. I should be safe from creepers now. Excellent, excellent. That was mostly... Creepers I was mostly worried about. Zombies, yeah, whatever. Go die in a fire, literally. Midnight. Skeletons are still gonna come after me. But I could actually... Hee hee hee. Thank you, sidekick. That, that's a little trick that I, I say I have had limited success with that, but it worked out for the best. All right. Well, this is rough. I have a sword. Um, now, I, what I've said about breaking blocks and placing blocks, I mean, I, I could have, you know, without really considering it cheating, ra rather than, you know, for example, dying, I could have placed a couple of blocks just to hide in a tree. Um, I certainly would feel... Like I was cheating to like dig out a, a hidey hole or something, though, without using the program. And even if I did dig out a hole, um, like I'd have to write a program to do it, or I could have tried to use excavate, but then I'd have to do something to cover in the roof, which would be far too much block placing to do by hand either. But this this looks good. Um, I can just reach him from here.